I used to be a volunteer at the Saki Africa Hospital. But to be honest, the difference between the normal person and the psychopath isn't really that obvious. You know, when you see someone who keeps talking to the air as if someone is nearby, who has very exaggerated facial expression and body movement, who behaves like somebody else, or even seems to be possessed by several different persons, it's really hard to tell if this person is suffering from mental disorder, or it's just a comedian trying to play characters. <laughs> a philosopher Nietzsche said, in individuals, insanity is rare, but in groups, that's a rule. Yes, I agree with every word of it. After watching an improv show, <laughs> the definition Albert Einstein gives to insanity is very different. He says insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. Well, he's actually talking about when the stand-up comedian is writing, right? <laughs> well, you see, comedy is just a dangerous game. Whatever you do, you have to go insane. <laughs>